Okay, it's mystery quiz time. This is an easy one. Who rolled the first and the only perfect game? 300 on King of Bowling. Who rolled the only 300 on the program on King of Bowling? Send those cards, cards only, to Mystery Quiz, 1821 Summit Road, room 216, Cincinnati 45237. And the winner after the drawing to receive a $50 gift certificate from Carl's Bowlers Paddock. That's an easy one for us, Slammer. Very, Very true. easy. Well, here's our top qualifier, Jerry Bossy, 748, to go against Jim Bukide, who won by 235 to 229 over Rick Peters at match one. Jerry, sort of a cannonball type of bowler. Starts high, and there's the six and the seven. You know, I feel sorry for this fellow today because he's going to take a lot of needling from Fritz Kessler over here to my right. Every time it happens. Who was it? He was at Milford, was it? Uh, Jerry Milford, was on. Right. Well, he's going to take a shot. He's got working room. Hit that six pin on the right side. Looks good. Looks good. What a shot. Man, if that doesn't start the adrenaline rolling, nothing will, Slammer. I imagine we ought to have an instant replay on that. Oh, definitely, definitely. Six, seven, brought back. Boy, that'll that'll really start the adrenaline flowing. Here's the winner in match one with a 235, Jimmy Bukite, who said his dad was more nervous than he was. Well, that got on nerve to Jimmy at 6 7. I think they're trying to give us an exhibition shot, I believe. Well, let's see now. He had the 1 2 10 earlier in match one. Should have made it as he hit the head pin on the right side, the left side, but it went around the 10. He has the same shot again, only he has one more pin. The washout, 1 2 4 10. Let's see if he can bring it back this time. Well, not this time. Took too much of the head pin. Well, who would have believed the 6-7 split would take the lead in match one? Hard to believe, really. What a shot by Jerry Bossy. Oh. Yeah, that ball and Jimmy threw on 14. He kind of side-wheeled a little bit. That's better. Yep. You can tell if he hits his spot what the ball is going to do. All these bowlers are spot bowlers. They look at that spot about 15 feet away from the foul line. And that's what they aim for. Well, but this, this pair of lanes, Jack, is definitely outside. Could hit him much better than that. Well, Jerry throws a lot more speed than Jimmy. You're going to leave a few 10 pins. Yeah, he, he's a cannonball type of delivery. Well, even in practice, he had 4 or 5 there. He doesn't waste any time. He picks up the ball, moves way over to the left side of the approach, stares down at that third arrow where he'll try to put that ball. Look out. Mm. That started gaining ground in a hurry. We got some representatives from the Hamilton Stripping here, Jack. Do you recognize them, huh? Yeah, Mr. Hurst, Mr. Carter, Mr. Smallwood. There's the shot of the pins and also Jerry Bossick delivery. Get him light. Get him light, let him fight. Hit him thin, and you'll win. <laughs> there he is, little Jimmy. Jimmy Bukide. Son of the champion in 1964, and also a member of the Bowling Hall of Fame. Well, that 6-7 unnerved him there at the start when he had that washout. He settled down again, Sam. Next week, don't forget, qualifying Saturday at Princeton Bowl. Openings starting at 9.30 a.m. And the match next Sunday, our television match right here on Channel 9, will emanate from Coleraine Bowl, where Ed Cooley, Adam Rink, uh -huh. and Jack 
Cockerham were top qualifiers. We have Princeton Bowl next week, Jack. They got 50 lanes, and we'll see Charlie Gilhart over there. Well, I can go back and recall some stories at Princeton Bowl. Remember, one time we had uh, during that real, real cold snap years ago. Ronnie Weber was on the program that day. Beautiful. Well, a break for Jerry. He's flirting with death there on that lane, isn't he? Yeah, a little high every ball. I'll never forget, that's the first time I've ever seen a bowler on television, on King of Bowling. Ronnie Weber that day shoot the first board in, shot a whopping 700 plus series. It's only had the two man format, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, you're lucky with my That's team. right, yeah. <laughs> Well, we're approaching the halfway mark, frame number five. Got a 10 pin difference with Buckhide on top. And he started with an open frame, but those X's amount to plenty. That's the way to score when you get out to your BPA lane and practice this afternoon. There's the ball. That's that little slowed that one down there a roll more. Kicks the old 10 out. Jimmy here rolls a semi spinner. Now, as he tucks that little finger, bends it up underneath the ball. Why don't bowlers do that, Sam? Makes the ball roll a bit better, I believe. Oh, what a ball that time. Well, the old saying about starting with an open frame and getting 200 plus looks to be true to form right here. It's the old formula. You want to start with an open, you're going to get 200. You can tack about a 20 pin lead on with this one. Yeah, I think he comes to play today, Jack. He looks pretty sharp. Come on. I tell you, Dad back there just as proud as a peacock. I was watching him before that first match, particularly that last frame. He was all over that floor back there. He was pacing up and down, up and down. I said to Jimmy, I says, your dad was much more worried than you were. He says, I know. Old Jerry hammering right in there, too. He's not giving up. He may be 20 down, but he was hanging in there. Well, he's changed his speed, Jack. He's rolling the ball super now. We're at Northwest Lanes in Fairfield, Ohio, with another large, as you can see. This is just part of the gallery, which you're looking at right now. Well, they're extending from way off to our left to way down to our right, and they're deep, five or six deep. Well, Jerry says, I need a turkey if I want to stay even with this fellow. He stays there, too. Oh, my God, I'm glad I didn't like that. Well, he's putting on quite an exhibition, Sam. Six, seven split. And then Hamer's four strikes, not in a row. Three of them are in, a, in succession. But here's a fellow working on five after opening with a washout. The one, two, four, ten. Look at that ball up that top. He came high right at the last minute. Oh, oh, this is your day, Jimmy. This is your day. I was afraid the rack was going to get it, Sam, but it didn't. Was that a hesitation pitch? <laughs> that hesitated a long while. That's why people have heart trouble right there. I thought, is it going to make it before the rack comes down? And fortunately, the rack didn't quite come down in time, and the pin, the four pin, was knocked over. This is automatic free ball here, Jack. Jimmy wants to take advantage of it, too. He did. Seven ra Oh, man, why did we have that washout slammer? That almost never failed. Every time you throw a bad ball and get away with one, you come back with a good one. That's why Bob used to ball. I think he's got that fellow upstairs looking down on him. <laughs> Somebody's looking down on him. Hmm. 
Here's a fella you you just can't discount because it's four in a row for him. It's only a 20 pin difference though. Here he comes with that big ninth frame. Our question again for this week, very easy. Who rolled the only perfect game on television on King of Bowling? Mystery Quiz is the address, 1821 Summit Road, room 216, Cincinnati 45237, a $50 gift certificate from Carl's Bowlers Paddock. He wants to make it five in a row. He did. Well, Jerry saying, if you're going to win, you're going to have to go out by beating me with X's. I believe it. Huh. Well, you've got two bowlers who know where that pocket is. Well, he opened up with a 1, 2, 4, 10 washout, failed to bring it back, and since has tacked seven in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I got eight in a row. I want to get Dick to talk to him after this match is over. <laughs> Jimmy can get 279 the hard way. The hard way is correct. Wowee. Tenth frame. He has hammered eight in a row since the washout. And he's had everyone right in that pocket, Sam. Ooh, this time he didn't get by with it. There's that old 6 7 back again. Yeah, you let that one run off. And you the Change the speed of the ball on that one. Well, this is the one that Jerry Bossy made back in frame number one. What a time to get that one, huh? Jimmy bring it back. Can Jimmy bring it back? Nope. Well, this is makes it a little different here, Sam. Oh, yeah. Jimmy got 243. Right, 243. And Bossy can go out for 259. He's got to get a strike. What a time to get that 6-7 split after eight in a row. 243. And here's a fellow working on five. There it is. Boy, what a comeback. Well, that's every, what that was that. Every game right down to the last ball. <laughs> Never fails. The first one was the last ball. Jimmy Bukai had won it. 235 to Rick Peters, 229. Here's a fellow with six in a row. This is a barn burner. Boy, what a comeback by Jerry Bossy. Trailed by 20 pins most of the match. That's right. Oh, what a ball. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, hit me do it one more time. So, there you have it. Jerry against Dave Callery in our finale. Was it 259 with one more, Sam? 259. And two four. How would you like to lose with a two forty three? Sounds like Bill Heflin. That's exactly right. <laughs> that. Wow! Wowie, wowie. Two five eight for Jerry Bossy. Two forty three for Jimmy Butide. Our finale right after this. <laughs>